I know I just uploaded a video, but I have to make another statement. It's about Hong Kong. I belong to a global church, and we are primarily in Asian countries. But we are in 140 or 142 countries now, including the United States and Canada. Our main, our main place is in Asian countries, like I said. And we have many brothers and sisters in Christ in Hong Kong during these riots, which started over a murderer who fled Taiwan into Hong Kong, which has no extradition. And it's a tragic story. But now the people in Hong Kong, unknown to LeBron James, are fighting, are protesting, I guess I should say, for freedom. Something that here in America, the United States of America, being one of the freest countries in the world, we take for granted. LeBron James, here we're allowed to say whatever we want, except we can't cause a stampede in a, in a gathering because that harms others. But financially harming somebody by saying China is full of it and Hong Kong has the right because they have a 50 year treaty to be free and by an individual saying that they support Hong Kong and the residents of Hong Kong to be standing up for freedom is hurting the people in China oh well China isn't in control of Hong Kong. They agreed to that. And if if Hong Kong falls, next it'll be Singapore and Taiwan, because China wants to take over. They're a communist country. But they have grown and adapted. They have a form of capitalism. I hate to say that because it really isn't capitalism. But we need to stand with freedom wherever people want to stand for freedom. Now, I'm not saying us as Americans or Western people, we should send troops. God, no. Stay out of it. I'm a libertarian. Constitutional libertarian. So, yes, I will stand with them in prayer. And if I personally want to go to Hong Kong and stand with the protesters, or if you want to go, that's okay. Should the United States send troops? No. No. Should the United States have a presence in the area, in the naval realm? Sure, we need to keep shipping channels open. Should the United States be the only one keeping shipping channels open? No. Now this is something that's close to my home. China needs to get out of those islands that are in the Philippine Sea. Because those are not theirs. They belong to the Philippines and the other nations around there. It's called the Philippine Sea for a reason. China stopped trying to conquer people. It's kind of like ISIS and Al-Shabaab and all of them. They need to be squashed. Why does it always have to be the United States that does it? Why can't the people there? You know, that's like the Syrian Kurds are terrible, terrible people. The Iraqi Kurds are freedom-loving people. You know, many people don't want to recognize or really don't know their history, but the Middle East, and I'm talking Northern Africa, Egypt and all that, Syria, Pakistan, 
Iran, which, you know, we could just call it Persia, were mostly Christians, like 90 plus percent Christians a thousand years ago, 1500 years ago. And then what happened? The Islamists, which is different, the radical Islam, the Islamists, come in and started killing people if they wouldn't say, yeah, I worship Muhammad. And they're still doing it today. So of course people change. The weaker, the seed that fell on the path or on the rocky soil, read the parable of the sower, you'll understand that analogy. You'll find that in any of the four Gospels in the New Testament. But anyways, they wither and get trampled and never mature. So yeah, they're weaker and they, they fall and they give in and they become Muslim or Hindu or Buddhist or whatever it might be. The ones that truly believe They'll take a knife to their neck because that's what the Islamic people have been doing since the shores of Tripoli. Listen to the Marines pledge or our, our national anthem in the United States. It says to the shores of Tripoli. What is that talking about? It's talking about Islamist terrorists that we've been fighting since the Barbary pirate days. The Marines are called Leathernecks because they put a big, thick patch of leather on the back of their neck so whenever the Islamists would hit them with the sword, it wouldn't cut their head off. And no, I'm not a former or a retired Marine. I just know my history. Let's stand for freedom in prayer for everybody that's standing for it. China, stop. This is ridiculous. You know, I try not to buy products that are made in China just because of how bad they are to their people. You know, we we don't buy North Korean or Iranian products here in the United States because of how bad they are. Now, if you go to Canada, you can buy Iranian fruits and stuff, which, hey, that's Canada's deal. I'm an American. I'm not buying it. And these trade wars and tariffs with China, do I agree with them? In some part, I do. But the United States has kind of pushed every business out. The taxes are too high. And nobody in the United States wants to do the jobs. The menial jobs, as now they're called, of working in a factory or even driving a semi-truck like I am. Either we have a worker visa program that's more efficient like the one that Canada has, which I think they have a great uh, low-skilled worker visa program. Now, should it have some tweaks? Sure. But it's better than the one we have here. That way we can stop having all these illegals come across the border. We can make it to where they can come here legally for a certain amount of time. Be able to leave and go back home for a certain number of time. A couple of years or whatever. And then they can come back again under a workers program. And, and get a priority that they've been here and they follow the rules. And they get to come back legally. And make it easier so that way they can... They can... Uh, possibly bring their, their 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 immediate family, their spouse and their children on the second or third time that they've had a, a stint in the U.S. of three to five years each time. And once they've done it the second time and they're almost done and they haven't gotten into any trouble, no felony or class A or B misdemeanors, blah, 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 maybe let them go through the process of applying for residency, permanent residency. Now my wife and I tried for residency for a green card for my wife back in 2015 and we were denied for some BS reason and then we 
supplied all the documents, and then the consulate in Montreal said they never got it, they got the documents. We have proof that they were delivered. So, that's why I live in Texas. She lives in Canada. I have status in Canada, and I'm not sure if I'm going to extend it or if I'm even going to qualify to extend it. I'm grateful for Canada to give me the option, and I will find out in a short time period if Canada is going to be for me or not. But that's not for me to decide. It's up to God. God Almighty, the Father of Jesus. my father. Thank you. China, stop. People listening, pray. Pray, pray, pray. We need to get calluses on our knees from prayer. Pray. Fast and pray, my friends.